But when you think about Kim, I was thinking to myself the other day, Uptown Records started with five people. Andre Harrell, I'll be sure, Heavy D, and Puffy. And Kim was the longest working employee because she was there from the very beginning. She was Andre's personal assistant. Mm. In a hotel suite. And then sometimes when I went, when, he, when Kim lived on 70th something street and I would go upstairs with Diddy, you could hear the shit in the hallway. And I would just shake my head when he come out or whatever, and Kim would be in the house. So 50 Cent has allegedly just leaked disturbing photos of Kim Porter being assaulted by Diddy. And given what everyone has stated about Diddy's treatment of her, this isn't particularly shocking. But do you realize that 50 Cent recently dropped another bombshell on the hip hop scene? The guy who's real all the time? He has been making some very strong insinuations regarding Diddy and his role in the entire Kim Porter tragedy, given everything that has been going on with Diddy lately. We're left wondering as this story progresses just how far down the rabbit hole goes. Is Diddy actually a part of this or are we just looking at smoke and mirrors? So buckle up friends, you won't wanna miss this hip hop saga. Ready, let's head on to it. How it all started. Guys, the business has been through an incredible roller coaster from the beginning of the Kim saga. There has been a lot of discussion regarding Diddy's potential involvement in questionable activities. Although it has been a mystery for a very long time, it appears that there may be some fresh information. Was there a possible reason Diddy wanted Kim out of the picture? Or was this about her exposing his dirty work? Before delving further, let us briefly explain what transpired with Kim. Kim's sudden death at the young age of 47 shocked her admirers as well as her family and friends. Her fans loved her presence and talent. Even though much time has passed since her death, Kim's legacy lives on thanks to her contributions to the entertainment industry and the memories she shared with her loved ones. Even though their relationship had ups and downs, she and Diddy's bond remained a vital aspect of both of their lives through the highs and lows of their shared experiences. For years, the public was captivated by their narrative. Many were perplexed by Kim's abrupt and unexpected death since, given her lively personality and apparently good health, pneumonia didn't seem to meet the description of the illness. So what was her relationship with Diddy like? And why is that such a big deal for everyone? This is where 50 Cent comes into play to tell what really went down. The controversial relationship between Diddy and Kim. The beginning of Diddy and Kim's love story was a little complicated. When they first met, Kim was working as a receptionist at Uptown Records in the late 1980s. And let's just say that she definitely drew Diddy's attention. This is where things start to get a little tricky. Kim had actually been married to musician Al B since 1989. Sure, but you know how love can sometimes have strange twists. In 1990, they parted ways, creating an opportunity for Diddy to enter the scene. During an interview with Essence in 2006, Diddy, however, reminisced about the moment he first saw Kim. To put it plainly, he was hit, and it was apparent he was in love. She and her ex-husband Albert, who also happens to be Quincy's father, were at the studio. Diddy couldn't help but admire her from a distance, even if he wasn't actively trying to make a move. Is it fair to blame him? Her lips, her eyes, her whole aura, it all captured his attention. Now, one would think Diddy would be in love with her if he spoke about her in that way, right? They began dating in 1994, and three years later in 1997, Kim became pregnant with their first child, Christian. However, it appears that the thought of becoming a father alarmed Diddy as he flew off faster than lightning and ended up getting close to Jennifer Lopez in 1998. That's where the chaos started. Like the rest of us, Kim learned about the situation through social media. You would think Diddy would have warned her being the mother of his child, but he said nothing. This is where Kim really comes out to play dirty. Kim Porter's most respected quality was her strength. Rather than making a scene or allowing it to affect her, she simply maintained her composure and continued with her life. She didn't even blink when Diddy left her for Jennifer Lopez. She learned that he was cheating on her when she came over pictures of him and JLo out and about on the internet. However, she remained silent, which infuriated Diddy. He was dreaming about her attention and waited for a response, but Kim would not satisfy him. That's what I call maintaining your composure, and she was pretty outspoken about her opinions on the two. You'll also notice the warning signs. Did you notice that she indicated their connection was a little toxic? 
I mean, there was abuse, there was fury, and there was undoubtedly an obsession with Diddy's frequent calls to her. And this isn't simply an overanalysis. A lot of people have agreed that this was accurate. Who are these people? We are talking about Gene Deal, Puff's bodyguard. He's the one who has spent a lot of time with Diddy. Further investigation by the interviewer revealed additional horrifying details about Diddy pressuring Kim into using drugs, which she eventually discovered were indeed ecstasy. Furthermore, a lot of other people have come forward to provide their accounts of what transpired between the two. And since these are such minute details, nobody in their right mind could have made this up. 50 Cent exposed Diddy. Now hear this, 50 Cent entered the fight stoking rumors that Diddy had a secret collection of videos used for extortion. He effectively said that he would stop at nothing to obtain the films as if he were persuaded that they had information on every person who had ever attended a Diddy Bash. Now let's dive into some of the darker rumors swirling around Diddy and Kim's relationship. So there have been rumors that Diddy tightly controlled Kim, dictating her every action. Some claim he went too far and started abusing her physically, making her feel helpless and imprisoned. Basically, rumors have it that Diddy treated Kim like an extension of himself, wanting her at his disposal. It is said that he did everything possible to monitor her, including tapping her phones. Could you imagine how much of a control power that is? It's really unsettling to consider. These rumors present a problematic image of a partnership characterized by fear and manipulation. Although we cannot confirm exactly what transpired behind closed doors, reliable sources such as Mark are undoubtedly able to provide us with information. This is where things began to get messy. There was a purported unsettling incident that transpired between Kim and Diddy before her untimely death. There are rumors that Diddy once lost control of his jealousy when he thought Kim might be seeing someone else. It claimed that he went completely insane and attacked her with all of his rage. This substantiates the statements made by 50 Cent. Imagine the tension that arises when Diddy's possessiveness pushes him to act irrationally due to a boiling point of jealousy. It serves as a terrifying reminder of the darker side of relationships, when envy may get out of hand and result in destructive behavior. After reports of Diddy's harsh response emerged upon learning that Kim might have an affair, their relationship took a more sinister turn. Rumor also has it that he seduced her onto a yacht, where they got into a violent altercation that ended with Kim supposedly breaking her nose. Employees on the ship allegedly heard the violent altercation start early in the morning. Kim seems to have taken legal action, suing Diddy for unpaid child support. But when JLo broke up with Diddy, the case took an unexpected turn, and in 2003, he came crawling back to Kim. They were shocked to find themselves back together and supporting one another again, but they managed to get back together. When Kim found out she was expecting twins, their reunion took another unexpected turn. The last straw came when Diddy fathered another child, Chance, with his longtime partner, Sarah Chapman, only five months before receiving his twin daughters in December 2006. Porter found this revelation to be too hard to bear. Kim was surprisingly not taken by surprise, though, when Diddy revealed the truth about Chance. Suspicions abound that she knew about his adultery from the start, having supposedly employed a private eye to monitor him. In the wake of Kim's death, unsettling information came to light. Toxins in her body were considered proof of poisoning, according to the original coroner's report, which classified her death as a homicide. With many looking to Diddy, wondering if he was involved, Jaguar Wright was among them. But in spite of all the accusations and scrutiny, the inquiry turned up no hard proof that Diddy was connected to Kim's tragic death. For many who suspected foul play, the conclusion was disappointing as it left unresolved questions and grieving hearts heavy with sadness, including Al, Kim's ex-husband, who saw that Kim's death was not normal. Apparently, Al appeared to retract his earlier remarks regarding Kim Porter's passing at some time after sharing the image. He erased the tweet after editing the caption to exclude any reference to contacting the FBI. The 53-year-old producer has expressed skepticism before on the circumstances of Kim's death. He openly questioned the official cause of death last summer, speculating that she might have been killed in a video that has since been removed. He thought back on the moment he found out about Kim's untimely death and how it affected him profoundly in the heartfelt video. With the recent developments, the rumors surrounding Kim Porter's passing have only grown more intense. Currently, many speculate that if Kim was really evading someone, it could have been Diddy. It's quite a terrifying thought, especially in light of their tumultuous past. 
Some even believed that Puff had destroyed her life. Some initially wrote off Albert's statements as part of the grieving process, but then something unexpected happened. As he battled for his life in the hospital, Al aroused suspicions that his health issues might be related to his vocal criticism of Kim's passing and his finger pointing at Diddy. However, the issue still stands. Why would Diddy have a reason to hurt the mother of his children? Well, one specific theory has been the subject of years of rumors. Kim supposedly had plans to create a tell-all book that would reveal Diddy's true identity and secrets to the public. Should this theory hold any merit, it might have given Diddy sufficient incentive to silence her permanently. Diddy poisoned Kim Porter, according to one commenter, because she was about to publish a book detailing all the bad things he had done to her and other people in the profession, both men and women. She had obviously been with Diddy for 13 years, so she was well-versed in both his personal and commercial issues. It is plausible to speculate that she might have accidentally spilled a significant amount of tea in her tell-all book, which vanished inexplicably the day before she died. Moreover, three of the five original members of Uptown Records have passed away. Interestingly, three of them were supposedly working on tell-all books before their passing. There is a startling similarity among these people. They were all in the midst of disclosing insider information. Kim was writing her tell-all, Andre was writing a book, Heavy D was writing a memoir, and even Al was preparing a documentary on his life. The mystery doesn't end there, though, because after Kim passed away, it was stated that her house was broken into. Her laptop, which included important information for her tell-all, was successfully taken, wiping out any proof of her revelations. Now, 50 Cent suggested that Kim Porter might have also been caught in Diddy's web. 50 Cent claims that Diddy's purported tape collection was intended to blackmail not only his business associates, but also people who were close to him, such as Kim Porter. The rapper, who later became an entrepreneur, speculated that Diddy may have utilized these records to exert control over Porter and preserve his authority in their relationship. According to 50 Cent, Kim Porter allegedly took matters into his own hands when he might not have agreed to Diddy's demands or attempts at manipulation. According to this story, Kim Porter might have fallen prey to this purported control and manipulation. So what are your thoughts? Was Diddy aware of the events involving Kim? Or is he innocent of all the allegations? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, click on any of our videos displayed on your screen for more dope secrets like this. See you in our next video.